Correct. Right. PC. So tell us about that, John. Well, when when the first person to uh, write about me or, or interview me was the Cosa Nostra News. And right after that, um, I received an email and it was from Jerry Capisi. Yeah. And in the email, he's, you know, praising the name of the, of the blog that I put out there and, and, you know, speaking highly about the stories and whatnot. And, um, and I, then I, I, I mentioned that he also throws like a little dig and he called my, he said, your friends over at the U S attorney's office. And, you know, that's like, it kind of was showing me his character right there. Um, funny, right? Like, so coming from someone who used to get nothing but information from them. Now he's, he's kind of speaking like, that's why I wrote in there. He's speaking like a, a mob associate. Yeah. Um, so, um, but like I wrote, I practice forgiveness now and I got in touch with him. And um, when I got in touch with him, he said, hey, I want to do what he called the piece on you. Um, and, and um, you know, he was saying that he wants to write a story about the blog and whatnot. And... Um, which he did, but he failed to mention that he put in not one, but two motions to my judge. Now he does get in touch with me after that, telling me, hey, by the way, I did you a favor. I filed a pro se motion and, and you know, but the part that was disturbing to me was that he never discussed it with me, A, and he tells me after the fact, B, and then C, in the, it's not just filing a motion to have the, uh, the sentencing, the, it was an upcoming sentencing made public, which was fine, there's nothing to hide. It was that he let the judge know about the blog and the Instagram. And, you know, he, he didn't discuss none of these things with me. He just did it and put it in and said, hey, by the way, I did you a favor. I don't know how he thought that was doing me any favor. Mm -hmm. he, he wasn't doing me any favor. He was doing himself a favor. Correct. So he tried to twist it and say he was doing me a favor. I even pushed that to the side and forgave him for that. But what recently took place is he got in touch with me again and he said hey you you know you've really been busy on your blog and um i said yeah you know i've been busy he says you know you're going to put me out of business mm -hmm. so i sincerely said that i said hey no i look i would never try to do that he's i said as a matter of fact i always respect the old times you're an old time he said that's right yeah i'm an old time yeah. and i says i you know look i like to help anybody and i can you know i would help you it, you know i'm not looking to, to hurt you and put you out of business and he now discussed that he wanted to do another story and he wanted to do it on the, the Perno with the housewife story that I did. Right. And then he wanted to do it on the sentencing. And he even told me, don't one up me and, you know, write about you. Cause I, I knew everything, obviously it was my sentencing, you know, and write about it, put it out before me. Cause you know, his comes out on Thursday. And I said, no, I would never do that. And I didn't feel it was my place to write about my own sentencing. Right. I, I could have, I just didn't. And um, he, I, so I said to him, listen, Jerry, I, I just need one favor from you. You know, and I'm here, I am helping him out. He's asking me, can, can you remember anything other than what you wrote about, about the, the Perna and the housewives thing that, you know, could kind of help him have a different edge to the story. And I tried to remember everything. I was trying to help him, right? Yeah. Now this was after he burned me twice. Good. So I thought of what I could. I tried to help him the best I could. And I said, hey, the only, now I'm helping this guy out. The only yeah. thing that I want you to do is do me a favor. I've been doing this uh, podcast with, with, with Tom Lavecchia from New Theory and just mention it in there. I want you to mention it. Yeah. And, and 
oh yeah you know send me send me the link and i said sure you know i'll send it to you and we left off like that with me believing that he's gonna return the favor right and really it should have been like penance for him because he already burned me twice (laughs) and lo and behold his article comes out thursday and he collects his five dollar per person and (laughs) and uh and and what does he do he does not mention what i asked him to do and then he misquotes me a lot in his article yeah said you know mentions things and wording that i never said and uh and and that was the last draw of me and that's why i wrote you know i've made my blog about him Uh, you know look i got no hard feelings i'm just not going to do business with him no more and you know let him go to the defense attorneys and get his information he's you know he he's a you know at one time he was at the top of his game and um you know there's new blood <laughs> out there you know and, and not only myself there's a lot of guys writing uh, blogs and putting- well, also i mean if you think about it it used to be you know out, uh what is his name george anastasia who i'm a big fan of and a lot of these yep. uh uh writers if you will who you know kind of maybe had some connections some people threw them like a bone a little bit of crumbs yep. but now i mean you're out here front and center you know you have the respectfully the johnny and gene show and i'm friends with johnny lay and yep. gene they were both on the show um but, uh, bobby luisi has a show uh sammy the bullet for some of the older you know the older stuff that's out there so it's almost there's a like, lot of got yeah there's a lot out there so it's almost like they kind of, you know, became, you know, irrelevant. Um, so to kind, yeah. of, kind, of, kind of wrap up and, um, and the thing I like about you is like you're a pretty straight shooter, but like you were even saying that the current mob back in the day, you maybe have like, you know, Godfather, somebody on the payroll or have some influence or maybe the local Staten Island newspaper, somebody knew the owner. But basically you were saying that like, as far as your Borgata was concerned, you really didn't get involved with the media. You didn't try to manipulate it. You didn't like, just really was like not your, at least from your perspective or your Borgata's perspective, wasn't really your lane. I was a little shocked at that. I thought there would have been kind of some love no, to it, but. No, but you know, the Borgata was doing what it was supposed to be doing. And we, the, the media is no friend to Casa Nostra. <laughs> and you know, we, stood away from it um the only i think i mentioned to you offline the only connection to the media was was something to do with the post where there were certain guys that were involved and and friends with us that had positions in the post and i don't mean editing or writing I, it's got to be down in the you know the distribute uh where they distribute the paper or they yeah. you know send the trucks out and things like that but that obviously had nothing to do with 